If you don't like how someone else is living their life, you're more than free to shun them and cut them off. But remember, too much shunning can have a big societal cost. Now, as always, whenever you have vigorous political discourse, you'll have people that fall on sometimes very neatly arranged lines of the issue, very neat separation of left versus right, of rich versus poor, or of like a whole broad spectrum. Sometimes you have people fall on those lines and they just cannot see eye to eye with other people. They say, well, why don't you do this? I want my way. No, I want my way. At some point, there has to be that sort of agree to disagree. At some point, you have to see that other people are going to live their lives exactly the way they see fit, and you can't really do anything about it. Or you, re more importantly, you really shouldn't. You really should not be basically forcing people to live by your own values. And that's okay, and everyone gets along. Now, we do run into a certain situation where your disagreement is bigger than cosmetic where you say this person is very irresponsible, is doing harmful things, and not harmful enough to where I want to come in and actually use force against them. Not like they're looting and stealing and robbing and hurting people and you just, you have to, you feel very justified in coming in with a gun to their head and saying, I'm going to shoot you in the head if I, you don't stop. But where we get to an area where, oh, this person's a little irresponsible. I don't like what they're doing. They are driving around too fast and recklessly. They are getting drunk at all weird hours and acting a little belligerent. And there's just, we're uncomfortable with that level of risk, but it's not enough to actually go and you know kick their ass. We get to that situation. That's when we decide we're going to say shun someone. It doesn't necessarily mean like we just don't pretend they exist, et cetera, et cetera. Basically what that would mean is we just choose to not engage with them socially. And if it's bad enough, we choose not to patronize their businesses, not to hire them, not to do whatever else, again, as far as we're able. And then we show our preferences that way. That's a good solution to kind of the soft problem rather than the hard problem of someone is actually hurting the community a very measurable harsh way and we can justify going in there taking up arms against this person whereas this person is not being good according to our value system at least and more than just to eh, agree to disagree but no this is an actual problem we should do something but what is that something well just kind of you know kind of socially isolate from them social distance from people who are too big of an asshole that's a great solution to the soft problem unfortunately we have to balance that out with some kind of restraint because what we can easily end up as is a fracture group of people who just about everyone we don't like or doesn't agree with our life choices we just wall ourselves off from that we don't benefit from their ideas from their friendship and most importantly from the economic exchange of businesses and consumers coming together in a peaceful way we just shut that whole thing off. It can become a very ugly thing for society. And I've started to notice that with the mask issue in particular. If someone sees someone else walking around without a mask on, there's that, no, you should wear, absolutely wear a mask. You're killing people. You're terrible. And then they just don't want anything to do with that person. And I personally think that that's, that's kind of a little bit of a step too far. And the same goes for the other way, where you see someone who wears a mask for whatever reason, they think that that's necessary or beneficial. And you just say, that person's a dumb NPC bot. They can't think for themselves. I'm just not going to do anything, have anything to do with them. And then we end up with a fractured, divided society. So remember, if you have a soft problem, don't be afraid to do a little bit of social segmentation, a little bit of shunning, a little bit of social distancing in a new definition thereof. But don't abuse it or we could end up in a very lonely, fractured, uh, not very healthy society. And no one really wants that. No matter how much we say we only want people who think like us around us, we don't really want that. Trust me. Mm -hmm.